Welcome back to Inside Games, the only gaming news channel brave enough to bait out a DMCA from Konami. That's right, come and get us, Konami. Actually, wait, please don't. I realize now what I've said. It's been a long time since we've had anything from Silent Hill, so we j just give us this one. Let us talk about this, please. Well, they've been trying to take this stuff from us, uh, which really, really makes this leak feel absolutely like the real deal. Uh, four images from a previously reliable source named Aesthetic Gamer leaked onto Twitter on May 12th only to be slapped with a DMCA takedown and removed hours thereafter. Uh, but the internet did what the internet always does, so of course, the images live on forever because everybody screenshotted them and saved them to their desktop. That's right, Bruce, so here they are! For all the silent details, let's throw to our internet image analyst expert, Charlotte, who's been chain vaping for the past two hours to try and recreate Silent Hill's trademark fog. What have you got for us, Charlotte? <coughs> I've got an elevated heart rate, hair that smells like bubblegum, and four, count them, four images that seem to fall thematically in line with what you might expect from a Silent Hill game. That's to say they're gross, disturbing, and generously hint that the game's environments are an extension of the main character's psychosis. One image depicts a disgusting, rundown living space with trash and peeling wallpaper. How'd they get in my house? Another one shows an accumulation of trash on kitchen countertops with Japanese text overlaid. Thanks to Google Translate, this provides some hints about the game's potential setting addressed to Krista Newman. The letter writes, Authorities have requested repeat interviews, but you have not. We consider this to be unwilling to resolve the issue and will protect your two children at the behest of a federal court officer in breach of section 16312. If he has a complaint, please apply to the authorities and respond promptly. If you do not comply, it will be considered as abandonment of child care and you will proceed with protection measures in accordance with the regulations of the authorities. If so, any claim will not be accepted. Yeah, and a third image shows a dramatically lit hallway covered in notes, some of which are legible enough to make out insults like pervert and fat bitch. A figure can be seen standing in the hallway as well, human shaped, but with a head made out of sticky notes so that it looks like a creepy dandelion. I like it. And this wouldn't really be the first time a monster with a uniquely shaped head appeared in a Silent Hill game. The final image appears to be concept art for a possible protagonist. She has multiple stylized scars across her brow and lip, cool, with the splits in her skin made to look like sheets of paper. Through some breaks in skin, we can read more insulting notes like, I hate myself and Minger? I don't know, I'm an American, I don't know what this means. I just call someone a damn asshole. Uh, but this implies that the game could be set in England. Aesthetic Gamer clarified that these images are from 2020, so this project could look completely different by this point. I mean, it's been two years of development. In addition to the four images, Aesthetic Gamer linked a few other details. The names Anita and Maya, maybe the two kids, SMS messages, whatever that means, and the fact that there are actually more Silent Hill games currently in development. Could it be true? Is Konami making games again? It's been years. Are they making games again? I made that one. They made eFootball. Remember that? What? Getsu Fumaden? Just me? All right. Bruce, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, all right? This is a leak. You know, it could all be made up from the jump or potentially assets from a Silent Hill game pitch that was, wasn't was greenlit, or another game pitch that wasn't Silent Hill at all. These could just be images from something. Former Konami current WayForward developer Tom Hewlett expressed his doubts on Twitter on May 12th, writing that any studio that, quote, has multiple people sending materials to a known leaker are not professional enough to do the game justice. Uh, Hewlett later clarified, quote, I tweeted this partially as proof these leaks are fake. I don't believe them. Uh, while adding, I do not have special slash secret knowledge about Silent Hill. That said, the immediacy of Konami's response here makes it feel like this leak might be closer to home rather than further away. Aesthetic Gamer does have a reputation for accurate leaks as well, having accurately leaked a number of details about Resident Evil 8 in April 2020, long before it launched in mid-2021 or was even revealed to be Resident Evil 8. Mm, this isn't the first time Aesthetic Gamer has leaked Silent Hill info either, is it, Charlotte? No, it's not. While they mentioned there are multiple Silent Hill games in development this time around, they spilled a few more details about that back in January 2020. Again on Twitter, Aesthetic Gamer described two Silent Hill projects, a soft reboot, and an episodic series. One of these projects was Japanese developed, while Konami shopped the other one around to various developers. Apparently supermassive games, you may know them from developing Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures Anthology, pitched for the project, but were not greenlit. Oh, that would've been awesome. <laughs> if that arrangement is still in place, the, the one Japanese one and then the one, I guess, foreign or Western one, then circumstantial factors actually point to Polish developers Bloober Team as being the non-Japanese developer. 
Like Supermassive, they have a long pedigree in horror games at this point, with the Layers of Fear series, Observer, Blair Witch, and most recently, The Medium. In a February 2021 interview with GamesIndustry.biz, Bloober Team CEO Peter Babieno said that they've been working for more than a year on another gaming project, another horror IP, and we're doing this with a very famous gaming publisher. I can't tell you who. I can't tell you what the project is, but I'm pretty sure when people realize we're working on it, they will be very excited. Then a few months later, just to compound the mystery here, in June 2021, Bloober Team announced a strategic partnership with Konami Digital Entertainment, in which, quote, the partners declared cooperation in the development of contents and the exchange of know-how. Hmm, that's really interesting. Also really generic? Why would you just announce that we're helping each other out? Bloober Team has even worked with a few storied names from the Silent Hill franchise. Series composer Akira Yamaoka contributed to the score for Bloober Team's 2021 game, The Medium. And one of the images in the league even appears to be signed by Masahiro Ito, who served as the art director on Silent Hill 2 and 3, in addition to contributing backgrounds and creature designs to the original Silent Hill. Oh my gosh, we're adding it all up here. We might be looking at a Silent Hill game from Bloober Team with music from Akira Yamaoka and art from Masahiro Ito. That is extremely exciting for Silent Hill dorks, which I am not, by the way. Um, even if Konami hasn't really earned a lot of confidence lately, it's still really, really fun and exciting. Yeah, theoretically, they're doing what everybody is begging them to do. Just please give your properties to someone else, someone that can actually make and ship a game. Uh, and I am a Silent Hill dork, so this is all very exciting. Also, Bloober Team is just probably the, the chef's kiss choice here based on their work in Layers of Fear and stuff like that. But it doesn't matter what I think, at least, uh, well, I'm going to talk more about that in a second. But what do you think? What do you think about the leak? Do you think this is a, a good look for Silent Hill? Do you think the art indicates a good Silent Hill game? What do you think about the property in general? Do you even care anymore? I've never played a Silent Hill game. I'm completely unfamiliar. I'm well out of my element and depth. Um but I did not expect to see Konami come back to making games, and they still might not be. It's all speculative, but I mean, that would be cool to have a, a, a storied company uh, as like Konami back and investing in good games. That can only be good, right? I think I think so. I agree. Also, by the way, I've never played a Silent Hill game either, uh, except for PT, if that was a Silent Hill property. Now, that was the thing the PT got me really excited to play a Silent Hill game if it was a Silent Hill game. And I'm kind of like, yeah, Lawrence is absolutely correct about Bloober Team. And it's really exciting to see the composer and uh, the, you know, the art and all that stuff. But well, damn it, I wanted that, wanted that Kojima Silent Hill from PT. I wanted that. So, I mean, it, I'm sure this game will be great. I'm sure it'll be great. But I wanted, I wanted the PT thing. Well, I am the resident Silent Hill dork then, and I'm really excited. I mean, when I played Layers of Fear, I was already thinking it was pretty down the line of what you would consider a Silent Hill game to be. It was very metaphysical, very cerebral. You get the... It wasn't quite as literal as some Silent Hill games end up being by the end, where you kind of understand everything and why everything's going on. But they were very much down the track of, of like, mental demons and insecurities being projected out into the real world to give form to... Uh, to insecurities and stuff. And in that way, you can sort of provide commentary on people's mental turmoils and their hidden fears and all that sort of thing. Um, even the concept art both feels very Bloober Team and also like a Bloober Team making a Silent Hill game. It's got those claustrophobic interiors that are very Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear was a very sort of ha scary hallway game, but it was really good. I'm kind of excited for the subject matter. It sounds like the game's gonna be about an absentee parent or a neglectful parent that abuses their children through through not feeding them or cleaning, but also leaving little like harsh notes around. And then I presume then the game will be in the minds of the kids, sort of sorting out the neuroses from the abuse that they're enduring in the household they're in. And then in that way too, the household becomes the setting for the game because it kind of unfolds into a mind palace of just utterly terrible domestic interiors. So, I mean, we've seen that done very well in first person in Resident Evil 7. Uh, so for Bloober to take that on as a Silent Hill property is really, really exciting. And I think they could go a lot of places with that. I just hope they, I hope they go hard. Uh, some of the, some of those notes are like a little like borderline cyberbully, like you stinky parrot kind of thing. Yeah, which, you know, n no kid deserves to have notes laid around telling them they're fat. But still, usually Silent Hill games are a little more intense than that when it comes to the subject matter. 
and the terror behind it. The Layers of Fear games implied some, some gnarly stuff if you really thought about it, but nothing that was like as on the nose as a woman with like bleeding out from her uterus and like an aborted fetus in a in a bathroom sink screaming at you like it got it got it played around with that but it didn't go right in like silent hill tends to so we gotta get better at our insults is what lawrence is saying yeah <laughs> <laughs> so here's some patrons that would never strand us in silent hill brian cosner nick calderon jeffrey rogers raulo and ray Pichardo. yeah i've got some here that would gladly take on pyramid head with a tiny pipe if we asked him to that'd be izzy dan halloran mark fletcher keita white and weave it Thank you for defending us from the horrors of our minds. Charlotte, we gotta we gotta play Silent Hill. Yeah, maybe we should. You guys wanna come over? Do a little slumber party? Yes, we should play it. We'll have a we'll have a slumber party live stream. I'm gonna be that annoying guy like constantly over your shoulder being like, oh look at this! Make sure to watch this. Are you watching? I'll like I'll just be staring at you the whole time, making sure that you're enjoying it. Alright, never mind. Can't I, I don't wanna come. Something's gonna take up my time. <laughs>